Answer the damn question. That should be the Design Kitchen's motto. My name is Joe Sargent. I lead the Design Kitchen at X. Design Kitchen is X's central prototyping team slash lab slash studio. X is a problem solving machine. And every product is different, and it's going to take a slightly different path. That's why we're multidisciplinary. Engineers, designers, scientists, general weirdos. A prototype is anything that can answer a question. At its core, it's about learning. As long as you're learning, it's successful. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm a project lead for Smarty Pan, And this is about helping people move. Joe and the Design Kitchen are really creative partners, and so I would go in with a clear question that I needed to answer, but often not a great idea of how to go about answering that. A big part of the Design Kitchen's ethos is we're agnostic to how we solve a problem. And I think where Joe's team excels is having solved lots of problems across tons of different domains. They would sometimes look at one of the ideas that I would have and say, oh, actually, from our previous work in costume design, I know how to solve this problem. I don't think it has to be a formal conversation where you say, here are my four questions, let's build a full prototype. I think normally it's like, hey, here's a problem that I'm trying to solve. Here's some ideas that I have. What, what do you think would work? What wouldn't work? Is there a way that I can test the bit that's not going to work before chasing this idea any further? One of the reasons we do a lot of parallel prototyping and we do a lot of prototyping quickly is because we don't know if we're asking the right questions. And the only way you can know if you're asking the right questions is by trying to answer them and trying to answer them quickly. It can be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster to be creating all of these prototypes. You need to be fine with throwing your stuff in the garbage. You have worked on a thing for like four months and then just like one day like, yep, you throw that in the trash. One thing that's helped me and helped the team is being really focused on the problem. Even if you spent months on something, if it's not gonna actually achieve that goal, then sometimes you have to, I think, honor the work that's been done and say, okay, look, we've learned a ton of things during that process, but this is not the one that's gonna actually like solve the problem. You should be excited about that because you threw that in the trash for a reason. Maybe you learned something or you got some clarity and knew that what you were doing was not the right path and you're moving on to another path. I think it's funny when we say prototyping as if this is a real special activity because I actually think it's a mindset and the kind of mindset that you can do everywhere. No matter what you have in your home, you can prototype. The thing about prototyping for me is that it has shown that no problem is so big you can't approach it. It's just about what scale you do it at, the people you surround yourself with and work with, but you can try to solve any problem.